it kind of makes you feel whatever you're feeling. Like there's a lot of talk about mindfulness and meditation, but cold water swimming is a bit like forced mindfulness. You can't be anywhere else. So to an extent, you it's not that you don't feel anything, but a lot of the things that you maybe were carrying with you kind of disappear or like just fall out of focus because you become really present or you kind of work these things through maybe in a similar way that you would do on a long bike ride. I don't particularly remember a time when I started while swimming because I kind of always done it. it was, we grew up in the middle of Wales and we used to go swimming in the Souther River in the summer. In the summer, swimming is something that you do to cool off. And maybe it's like a destination to a bike ride. And there's less, there's less faff. <laughs> but then everybody likes swimming and everybody wants to jump in the river to cool off. So it can get quite busy, um, especially this summer with everybody um, going outdoors for their release from lockdown. Um, whereas in the winter, you've just got those hardy souls. Some of them are swimming for their first winter as well, but you see the same people every week, and so there's much more of a community feel around it. I think when you're in the water or trying to get in the water if you're not if you're not used to it then your body and your brain are like sending you all these signals being like don't do this it's it becomes a real mind over matter thing your body's trying to hyperventilate and you're like no and you control your breathing and that's it's quite interesting when you then start looking into things like how like your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous systems normally work. And so essentially what's happening is you're making your body do something that it doesn't want to do. Yes, it's going to be bracing or refreshing, but I'm not going to associate any of those sensations that my body's feeling with being cold. And you kind of, you teach your mind to kind of rename those sensations. You've taught your body that it can make a fuss if it wants, but it's not really going to get listened to. I think once you do it, you understand it. Otherwise you just think people are nuts. <laughs>